uh, we, we were able to talk to Sam downstairs, Charles joining the staff, you know, those two guys coming in, working alongside you under Joe. Uh, how have you gotten to know them so far, and what are you expecting those guys to bring to the staff? Um, knowing, knowing them from afar and um, um, competing against them. Is, is different, obviously, um, but have, knowing them, getting look, looking forward to getting to work, ugh, getting f look, looking forward to getting, being able to work closely with them, but just experience, like a ton of experience that those guys bring to the table, and um, situations they've seen a lot of situations. So, looking forward to that, and then um, just uh, for me personally, getting to learn from them, those are guys who are more experienced, you know, have more years of service than I do. So looking forward to picking their brains um, and just ultimately the, the goal is to help Joe as much as possible, make Joe's job uh, easier. So that's what that's what we try to do. That's what the whole staff would try to do. Um, and, and doing that, help the guys as much as possible, um, be prepared to uh, play their best basketball. And you, you've lost a couple of guys from last year's staff, Ben, uh, Mike, some of the uh, guys. Um, you've seen a lot of guys come and go in your time so mm. far here, and you know, you've really had a rally around those guys last year. Mm. What are you losing in those guys, and what's it like kind of bringing new guys into those spots and integrating into that staff? It's something you've had to do a little bit so far. Yeah, we had, we had um, experience with that when, when Ime arrived, and um, we were able to I think it's almost like the team. Like you're as coaches, you're trying to model what what type of team you want to have, right? So you have new members, new team members, new staff members coming in, and you get to know one another, and you learn each other's strengths and each other's weaknesses, and how you can complement one another to be the best team that you can be, right? So that's what we're doing as a staff. That's what we're going to have to do. Um, from a player perspective, we got new guys coming in. We have some changeover, and guys, like I said, will learn each other's strengths and weaknesses and how they can complement each other best. So that's the cool part about it. It's like the thing that you're challenging the players to do, you get to you get to kind of do that same thing. So you are kind of know what they're going through because you're going through the same thing, but ultimately the goal is everybody um, working together to complement each other so that the team can be um, the best version of itself. Sounds like Delano's going to be able to play for you guys this week. What, what do you, you know, him being a you know third-year player, what are you kind of looking for him out here, like from a team standpoint, for what you guys want to work on? Um, it, it's not, it's not easy. It won't be easy for him just because he's new to the group, but he has some experience and um, it's an opportunity for him to play, to get some live action. So. We're just looking forward to ha having him come out and just try to get over the hump. We've had two games where we've been in a position to win and we weren't able to, so just try to get over the hump and, and, and get a win and start to build some momentum for the latter part of, of the summer league. And for him just to get his legs up under him, find some rhythm, find some comfort out there, and uh, just, just help contribute to winning. What, what has Joe maybe said to you about this, this opportunity about coaching the summer league and what he kind of wants to see out of you? Um, just to take advantage of, of the opportunity to do all the things you, you get to do um, as a head coach from, you know, um, from practices, the training camp was great, and then obviously in-game coaching, but also um, just being part of the staff. And I think the cool thing for me is this will help me be a better assistant, like having to being able to kind of see a small version of what he's doing on a day-to-day. -day. When I step into my role, um, I can be better equipped to help him make his job easier. So that's what I'm um, just trying to focus on that.